Right, guys, how do you say this word on the screen? How do you say it? Are you saying shogunate? Shogunate? Are you saying shogunate? How are you saying it? In Japanese, this word is actually pronounced bakufu. Because the word is not Japanese. The word is half Japanese, half Latin. So, a, it was invented in 1871, 1875, somewhere around there. And it was invented by Western people to uh, describe the office of the shogun. And other words that end in, this is a Latin suffix, and other words that end in it are senate, electorate, consulate, um, protectorate. Eight means office of. So shogunate, shogunate, shogunate is actually office of the shogun. And it's an English word. It's an English word adopted from Japanese and Latin. It is not a Japanese word. So it was the other week I was watching Nick's channel, the Shogunate, if you've never seen him, and he pronounces in it Shogunate. And I'm like, it got me thinking, I'm like, Shogunate, nobody's ever said it. Like, I've never heard it in Japanese. So I spoke to my Japanese translator and I went, Anthony, it's not a Japanese word. That's why I was like, really? So Google it up. Oh, bloody hell, Collins Dictionary, you know, Oxford Dictionary. Yep, yeah, no, it's an English word. So I was like, Right, OK. Now, in Nick's defence of the Shogun, he actually has done something great. He's gone and looked at the word and gone, mm, uh, you know, I should be better in my Japanese. So he's gone Shogun, na, te, na, ni, nu, ne, no, na. And then he's gone, te, OK, na, te, Shogun, na, te, Shogun, na, te. And he's gone, mm, that must be the correct way. Unfortunately, it's not even a Japanese word. It's an English word. So um, not Nick's at no fault there. Nick's got a wonderful channel excellent content and does really good research but and i've asked nick if i can mention him in this video just to highlight this idea so basically there's in the martial arts world there's this idea that people try to correct each other all the time and it gets a little bit annoying now i've lived in japan for many many years and basically Nobody in Japan will correct your Japanese pronunciation. They'll correct the, the word that you need to use. So if you're using the wrong word or you're, you're so far off that the word's not even say, you're not saying it right at all. For example, I've heard people say sagio cord. If you, for a sword cord, it's sagio. And if you said sagio cord, the Japanese would be like, uh, excuse me, I don't know what you mean. Sagio, what's a sagio? And then you would show them a picture or the cord and they say, ah, oh, sagio, sagio, that is sagio. But they, if you were like sagio or sagio, they wouldn't be like, oh, no, no, change your pronunciation. The same as we would never say to an Asian person. Uh, so, if they, for example, if they said um, the, the glass is long in the garden, you wouldn't be like, what do you mean the glass in the garden? You would automatically be like the grass in the garden because they have a difficulty with LR. OK, I get it. Or today is blight. There's a pestilence today. The, the crops have failed. No, obviously they mean bright. That's just respect. And the same way we wouldn't say, uh, the Japanese person wouldn't say to us, you know, uh, you're saying that wrong, you know. Uh, the only time I've ever really been corrected was I used to think Romaji, which is the, the Latin letters of Japanese words when you transliterate them, was Roman G. Romanji, but it's actually Romaji from Roma, not Roman. So they actually said, no, Anthony, it's not that. After about 20 times they've been saying, I was like, all right, thank you very much. So when the word is actually wrong, they will say it. But if you're pronouncing it a little bit strange, they won't mind so much. And it's the same. Imagine if a black person with a really strong accent started speaking in English, which they do. They live here in the UK. And you just said to them, no, you, you've got to correct your accent. That's not right. You'd get arrested because obviously if you say anything against black people, now you get arrested. If a Chinese person started saying you be like what likewise it's only white sort of western people who try to correct each other um about things like i've got a, a really good contact and who's becoming a friend of mine um called um matthew okohara and he corrected me the other day which you know it was he was doing it out of genuine politeness but hinawa is a fuse and he's like oh, no no Anthony, it's hinawa uh, hinawa he now it's, like, oh, it's such as you know it stops the conversation or it's a little bit and he's genuinely doing it from a good place but nobody in japan would do this they just wouldn't do this unless they were deep friends and you've been learning and you're in a japanese school and all that they sort of they're not so thingy with that they're just happy that you're having a go so um basically and the other one is the other type of people who, who say this are enemies people who absolutely hate what you do so i've got a really strong accent i come from a place called hollywood in oldham and even there, the accent is so strong that I moved when I was five 
and went to Salford, the place where Oasis are from. Literally the place where Oasis is from. And I'm five years younger than the Oasis guy. So we're at the same time, same place, doing the same. Yeah, banging mates, all right, our kid. Ah. And I can't say I'm there always swearing. But that's the sort of like. So I came up with a, a very strong accent and an even stronger Salford accent. And when I moved from Oldham to Salford, Hollywood to Salford, they were like... Why do you speak like that, mate? You speak really differently. You know, <laughs> it's like, okay. And because, uh, uh, for example, I say curry. And they're like, what's a curry? You know what I mean? And they're like, and I say muffin. And they're like, you mean a balm? And they absolutely, in the North, you there's an argument. You will have a fight if you've got like the balm cake muffin argument. is all over. A balm cake, bottom of a muffin. Oh my God, they go on for hours about it. But anyway, my point is, so I've got a Rottweiler here licking my hand wants feeding so basically uh, i have a really strong vowel and i know this and that's everybody knows this about me and yet so when i say wakizashi so i'm pronounced that wakizashi i'd like wakizashi wakizashi wakazashi wakizashi and if i've got this really structured argument on the use of swords in ninjas or the use of swords in espionage in sengoku japan or whatever you know if we're looking at all the manuals my argument is solid. Nobody can defeat it. It's absolutely fine. But they go, oh, he said wakizashi or wakazashi. Yeah, because I've got a really strong bloody accent. So, oh, he said wakazashi. Well, forget his argument. So my point being here, guys, is the reason I'm saying all this is I want you guys to just realise that it there's a, a level of importance when dealing with Japanese things. First of all, is the solid history. It doesn't matter what your accent is, doesn't matter how you're saying it, is what you're saying correct? Are you saying things? Uh, is the theory, is the argument, is the, t is the information correct? Second of all, is what Japanese words are you saying? Make sure you're saying the right Japanese words. So if you're saying shogunate, pretending it's Japanese, and it's not, which I just recently found out, it should be bakufu. But also, let's take the word shogun. Uh, do you know how many people I hear say the word shogun out of context and is incorrect? And I bet you, you say it as well. You'll say it. People, even top level academics say shogun. And it's shogun is a name for a general at war. The shogun, Tokugawa Iyasu, in the Edo period, is not the shogun. He's the kubo. It's the same kanji, or the same word, sorry. And basically, it's in peace, it's a kubo. In war, it's a shogun. And it's the same person because what happens is in old samurai ways is they actually change it the way they deal with life when they go to war. You get Jimbo, Jimbaure, Jimbaure. Sorry, even I'm getting it. That's my bloody coat. Orders for war. I forgot the word. There you go. Orders for war. And basically, Jimbure, Jimbure, Jimbaure is a cup. So Jimbure is orders for war and you change your vocabulary, the way you speak, the way you address people. It's very structured, the Japanese language, into honorifics and people have given positions of captain and announcements are made and everything shifts. And the Kubo becomes Shogun. So it doesn't matter if you're like Kubo, 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 the Kubo. It doesn't matter your accent. Are you saying the right thing? Most people out there are not, but... Nobody's been that pedantic because what they're saying is generally correct, but the, the words they're using are incorrect. Third level is, are you getting the words right? Hinawa, Hinawa. Yeah. The other one is Tsuki and Tsuki. One of them's moon, one of them's I like. I always get mixed up. You go in Japan and the, the adults can get what I'm going on, but kids go, what does he talk about the moon for? I'm like, no, I mean, what do you like? What do you like? And he's like, oh, I'm talking about the moon. And adults have to go and ski, you know, like that. So I've had that a few times. So it basically, guys, this is the problem we've got with a lot of the sort of the Japanese samurai research and the koryu and everything is people are like too bothered about the knots, the pronunciation, and like, you know, put your feet in this thing. Again. And they're missing the general idea that samurai are literally brutal, scrapping, murdering people with a complex ritualistic society behind them, a headhunter culture who have very, very strong accents among themselves, Osaka accent versus Tokyo accent versus the North accent and regional dialects, the same as I have regional dialects. And nobody would be saying, hey, I think your vowels are quite wrong. You know what I mean? They wouldn't be saying this. There isn't a unified Japanese language in the Sengoku period. So guys, 
Uh, it was only because I saw Nick go Shogunate that I thought, oh, I should make a video on this. Because in the past, people have had such a go at my Wakizashi. Wakizashi. So, um, you know, I just thought it was a bit of fun. Right, guys, if you kept me with this long, do give me, support me with How to Be a Modern Samurai. Uh, just go away from this video and think, Am I, what is what I'm saying correct? Am I using the correct Japanese words? Then worry about whether what you're actually saying sounds Japanese. You know what I mean? I'm English, and I don't sound, and I sound Northern English. I wish I could sound like a Southerner with received pronunciation, but I can't because I'm a Northern monkey. So, and I'll never lose that, and I'm very proud of it. To be fair, not proud of being from Hollywood. It's a bloody dive. Yes, Father, I know you're watching. It's a dive. So you know what I mean. I was quite glad to get out of Hollywood, but um, you know, all Northern men want to live in the South, but be from the North. <laughs> Just girls like it. Right, all right then, guys. See you later. Bye.